All right, let's get on with making this uh, snowman. So we're just going to uh, use the default view. So if you haven't done so already, just click File and New, and then choose General, and you're going to get the uh, the default setup. Um, once again, I've got my screencast keys down here, so you're able to see what it is that I'm doing. And we're just going to start by um, getting rid of this cube. So we'll left click to select um, select the cube, and we can use the context menu for a lot of things. So when you have something selected, and if you right click on it now, um, you'll get a few of the options that can come up for that particular thing. So if I just click on delete, you'll see the shortcut key is X. So um, if we click delete, we'll get rid of it. And we're just going to add in uh, a sphere. So we add objects from this menu um, on the left hand side here. We've got select, add, or object. If you click on add and then choose mesh and then choose the UV sphere, what you'll get is the default sphere. Now, if you need to change the options for that, you can see um, uh, this is different in Blender 2.8, but down here, if you click this uh, box, you'll get the um, information about this so you can change this value as soon as you edit it of course as soon as you like say you move it around a little bit the the, the box is gone um, the, the the box there for the creation is only there until you move something so I'm just gonna hit X again to delete that um, thing and we'll build it again so we click on add we choose mesh and we choose um, UV sphere you can see we can change these values if we want I'm just gonna leave them as default for now um, and just click this little arrow and it'll disappear down so we've got our first sphere and what we're going to do is just drag it up so if you drag it up and try and get it perfect it's quite difficult to do and um, what you can do is hold control while you drag and you'll get increments of one unit so you'll snap by uh, one of these lines and um, if you really want to know if it's directly um, on the ground, you can just click on, as I mentioned before, you can click on these boxes and you can, uh, sorry, you click on these directions and it'll show you a view from that particular direction. So you can see um, as you move around that it's down um, exactly at the center because I, I held control to uh, lift it up. Um, it looks a bit funny uh, because the shading, the way that it's shaded is not set um, set to smooth so if we uh, if we right click again we can see that one of the options here is shade smooth and uh, you'll see that what that does is smooths out so you, it's still the same number of polygons and the same number of vertices but now because the shading has changed it it does appear a little bit smoother and um, so this is the first part of our snowman so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, we could either make a new one up here or we could just duplicate this one um, and I'm just going to use the duplicate method so if you uh, right click again, you have the other context menu and we can say duplicate objects and it's shift D. So we've duplicated this object and it's stuck to my mouse. As I move my mouse around, it's kind of stuck. So if I'm happy with the movement, I can actually just click and it will put it where it was. If I want to, I can just right click and that cancels the movement. It looks like I haven't done anything, but I have. And um, the second one just went back to where the first one came from. So I'm going to drag that up. Um, and just uh, approximately uh, get that to where I want it to be and um, I just sort of panned and zoomed in to get myself where I need to be so I can see the whole thing and now I need to scale it down um, This the, the, the top head needs to be a bit smaller so if you see over here the scale tool um, you can click on that and it, it says it's scale shortcut is S so um, we can, we'll use the tool for now just because we can get used to it um, we can scale it on the different axes and try and get it exactly right. Um, but what will happen is it will look great and then you'll turn around and it will be all wonky. So I'm going to just undo those. Um, the, the, if you want to scale uniformly, if you hover over the circle, you'll see it highlights a little bit brighter. If you click on the outer, outer circle, it will scale uniformly. So I'm going to give the uh, snowman head a bit smaller um, than the, the, uh, the, the body. And then I'm going to go back to the move tool. And I'm going to move it down so that it just sits on top. So you can see it just sinking in there at the center. So uh, that's my um, basic snowman shape. Um, what we're going to do is add in the uh, the eyes as well. And um, we're going to use the same uh, trick as we used last time. I'm just going to duplicate that object. So right click and duplicate. And I'm going to right click again. And that just leaves it where it was. I'm just going to move it off to one side. I'm going to scale it down with the scale tool. And uh, again, just on the outside, we just scale it down nice and small. So I'm going to make a little 
like a rock sized eye and then go back to the move tool again and you can then move it into position so um i want this to kind of be uh, in the front and uh, i'm just going to keep moving it around and when i feel like i'm relatively happy with it just zoom in and pan around a little bit and orbit around and have a little look yeah that looks pretty good so i'm, I'm happy with that i'm just going to do shift d with that one and right click again to leave it where it was and then move it across to the other side so we've got two small eyes and the next thing would be his nose so again we're gonna uh, we're not gonna duplicate this time we're just gonna add another mesh so I'm going to add a cone for this one. Let's click on cone. You'll see it's absolutely massive down the bottom. Now, remember, as I mentioned before, we can change the size of it. So um, I'm actually, it's going to be quite small. Um, so I don't think I need uh, 32 vertices all the way around. So I'm going to change that to eight. And you'll see that it's now a, an octagon and then it, it goes up to the point. Um, the radius of one meter, again, that's kind of too big. So I'm just going to say 0.25, just type those values in. And the uh, the length of two meters again. I will, I'm just going to say 0.75 or something like that. Um, again, it, it's a bit too big, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, so I've just moved it up into position. Uh, I'm going to need to rotate it around the the green axis here, which is you can see over here is the y axis. So uh, we could use this one, um, and we just drag it around the y. Um, I also want to show you another method of rotating things as well. So if we tap R, it's the shortcut for rotate. And if I was to rotate now, it would rotate weirdly around my current view. But remember, we can see down the bottom, the context menu, um, and down the bottom over here, and it shows me that if I press Y, I'm able to rotate just around the Y. So I'm just going to do that. Um, the other thing is I can actually type values in. So if I want to rotate by 90 degrees, I can just type in 90 and press Enter. And that will confirm. So that, that's three different ways of rotating, um, you get, and it works for scaling and um, and for moving as well. So I've I've kind of got it in the orientation that I want. I'm just going to get myself um, down into the position that I want, and I think it definitely needs to be a lot smaller. So I'll click on the scale, just use the outer um, box, and I think I want to make it longer. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit along the red here, and um, it's definitely not in the middle. Um, well, I think it is in the middle. I think it's the eyes that are not in the middle. So I'm just going to move this into position a little bit. It doesn't matter if it looks wonky. Uh, let's put that into there. And here we go. So I think definitely the eyes, uh, I'll move these out a little bit. This one maybe in a little bit. And we're good. Now, if you need the, um, the widgets to go away, so sometimes when you're like when I was here and I wanted to move this one, sometimes this gets in the way. If they were much closer, for example, if I had this one here and this one here and I tried to grab this one by clicking on it, it might think I'm trying to move the other one. So you can switch those widgets off um, as well. You can show gizmos here um, and that the, this up on the top right hand side, if you click, it will show this make the gizmo disappear and then it will make them come back. And there are other options available to you here as well. So um, sometimes you need to switch it off so that you can select something else. I'm going to put it back on again so I can move this one across using that. Um, so, yep, that's the uh, snowman. We're just going to uh, continue very briefly with the, the modeling and add in a little hat. And then I'll show you materials in the next tutorial as well. So um, what I'm going to do is for the hat, I'm going to make um, a cylinder. And I'm going to make this cylinder... Uh, a lot smaller um, so I think we're just going to make that another eight vertices and I'm going to change this to uh, 0.25 and I'm going to change the depth to 0.25 as well and then we're just going to position it up here and this is going to be the, um, the top part of his hat and um, so we've got I think I actually want to scale that up just a touch and um, so just go a wee bit higher. So I'm going to make a little top hat for him. And I'm going to do Shift D to duplicate again. And then scale it down. And then scale it out. Um, and that way I've got the little brim of the hat. So I need to move it again. And I'm going to push it down. Put it down to about here. And I think this guy needs to go down just a little bit more. So it's in. So we have ourselves a little snowman, and uh, that's all the basic movement, uh, so adding objects. 
and some of the basic move and rotate and scale tools just to get uh, a very simple model. In the real world, models aren't really done like this, but this is a good little practice for um, using the transform, rotate and scale tools and uh, orbiting around and using the viewport. So uh, in the next one, we're going to put some color on this thing.